The Mobile World Congress Shanghai made its return as an in-person event to the city on June 28th after a two-year absence owing to the pandemic. As the regional edition of the world's largest mobile communications industry trade show, nearly 300 exhibitors, including mobile operators and leading enterprises, debuted their new technologies and products. This time, I also saw a lot of guests from different countries and regional exhibitors, including companies, government, government institutions, and innovative companies. So, I think this is a very important and special event. Under the theme Velocity, three main areas of the show, including 5G transformation, the Internet of Things, and augmented reality, gave the audience a glimpse of the future lifestyle and production. As one of the highlights of the exhibition, the latest AR glasses further break the constraints of physical screen. It brings a more stable, adaptable, and ubiquitous aircasting experience. Can make people feel very strong, very powerful. 非常非常的这个真实啊，非常让人很有冲击感。Until May of this year, the number of 5G base stations has surpassed 2.84 million, and more than 60% of the world's 5G connections are held by China. Nowadays, Chinese 5G applications has penetrated many vertical industries. 把我们的五 G 呢运用到我们各个行业里面去，比如我们现在这边看到的智慧电力、智慧房子、智慧眼镜等。它主要一个目的呢，就是把呃五 G 里面的一些无线的技术运用到这些工厂里面去，实现一个无人化的监管，提高我们的这个一个效率，同时呢，保证我们的减少那个人力成本。Undeterred by their success in 5G technology, China's telecommunication sector remains relentless in its pursuit of future advancements. 1G 到 5G 里面十年差不多发展一代的技术，那现在 5G 呢，它也不会是这个停在原地不动的，呃，是不断的去演进去发展。我们下一代技术就是呃 5G advanced， 那像无源的物联网都可以接入进来。As this year marks the 10th anniversary of MWC Shanghai, the exhibition has been one of the bellwethers of global technological development by continuing to foster innovation and promoting worldwide cooperation.